I think <laughs> what's up guys oh I need get a good Ooh, what's up guys because in the first time I recorded this I did a really good one and I needed to beat that so best right. intro yet 27 anywho um, I am going to talk about in this video, but they were like just a smidge, just a smidge, not a lot, a smidge. I'm already fucking around, wasting time. About unwritten rules in Zam that I play for. They are not written in stone. You do not need to follow them, but what these rules help do is make the server more fun and fair and balanced for everybody else. I'm going to split this video into two parts. One is for survivors. One is for sh humans. No, zombies. And because instead of a big 20 minute long rant, I can easily be lazy and make two videos of it. So, I wrote them in my iPod. I don't have my iPod right now. I'll be right back. Okay. Four days later now, Indy has gotten his iPod and is ready to resume making this video. Unwritten rules of Zam, number one. Okay. Well, first, actually, okay. What I have written down says MB MVP weekend slash fun. And what I think I meant by this, whenever I wrote it, was that, see, and this should be for everyone, but especially the admins, but it's something I try to do especially. What? What do you say? Oh. Um... And that is like an ideal utopia of Zam, and if the everything was in a perfect world, you know, everybody would play, so everybody has fun, and everybody plays fairly, and that's all I care about. I care about everybody playing fair, and I care about everybody having fun. Bottom line, you know, more than me having fun, you know, because you know, and you know I like to say you know, you know? And so, like, good example was this latest MVP weekend. This is just one example, because uh, it happened recently, but there's been other times, and I try to do it all the time. But, so I'm not just trying to pick out this one example. But, first day of MVP weekend, I played for not one, not two, not three, not four, but I played five hours straight of Zam. I had over 300 minutes. All Zam. I think it was all EU server too. Um, but that's not the point. Point is, I sucked dick. I choked on balls. I completely ripped assholes. The part. Oh, okay, what the fuck am I doing? Um, because in this five-hour stretch of Zam, I had not one. Actually, yes, I had only one death machine. I only successfully camped, what I consider camping, four times. I have four fingers holding up, I'm showing you guys right now, but you can't see. In five hours, that's like, it was probably four, four and a half map rotations of all four, 12, 14 maps. Yeah, oh, fuck, someone's gonna call me out on that. Um, but I had one death machine, and I only literally camped four times. I mean, the, re okay, the reason being, well, I felt like I was picked as a zombie 50% of the time, but I wasn't mad about it, whatever. Um, but then in, like, the other 50% where I wasn't picked as a zombie, I fucking died 90% of that time, <laughs> just running around, doing my normal thing, but just fucking getting killed. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was because everyone had points and they caged early and camped right away, so they didn't die. So if there was still only, if they didn't die, I didn't start camping. That's my best prognosis right now. But we'll talk about it because, you know, gameplay in MVP weekends just completely suck dick. Because everyone cades early, nobody runs around, even if they start with Spigo. I guarantee if you gave half the players or all the players in the server, you say, you want 150 points to start with, or you want Spigo? I guarantee 9 out of 10, they're going to take those points in early Cade with them. Because that's what pro players do. And that's not how you play fairly. So what was I saying? Yeah, so I only camped like four times. One time I got a death machine for Cades, and I only had 28 kills that game. I'm trying to remember some other stats. In other games, I think my highest kill was 37. And... You know, the other two times someone shot my cage and kind of got me killed. 
So that was that. I played for five hours, but I was happy. That's the point. I was happy that whole time. Wasn't mad, wasn't crying, wasn't complaining. It was just like, I'm managing the server right now. Need everyone else to play fairly. Everyone else is having fun with their cool free IV stuff. I was fine with it. I mean, I wasn't mad at all. You know? I don't know if the fuck I woke up and walked on the good side. Though I was going to say something terrible right there, but I'm not. I'm just going to say I woke up on the good side of the bed that morning. But yeah. So, like, because all I cared about was everyone else being happy. I really didn't care if I had a good game and if I was happy or not. Well, I was happy, though, because everyone else was happy. And that's all I care about is everyone. Because it's video games. We're here to have fun, guys. And you don't only need to be a survivor and have, like, big kill games to have fun. There's plenty of shit, other shit to do. I mean, like, when the server is full of personalities and whatnot, that's when I fucking love it. You know? I hate a fucking server where the chat is completely dead, because that means everyone's fucking trying hard and trying for a fucking gameplay, and then it's no fucking fun or whatever. I just like when there's a lot of personalities on the server and we're all talking, and that means we're not focusing on gameplay and not trying hard and not all that. But anywho, that was way too much time on just the first fucking topic. So MVTB weekend's bad. Having fun playing fair, good. Yeah. And, I mean, people say the MOG is imbalanced. And I say the MOG is very imbalanced on both sides, zombies and survivors, which kind of makes no sense. But... I think if we all use these little unwritten rules that Indy has, that the mod can instantly become balanced, you know? So, we do that. <clears throat> so at the start of the game, you spawn in your survivor. I have written here, same class. What does that mean? That means don't pick the same class all the time. Jesus fucking Christ. That's fucking lame. If everyone in the fucking server all picks, we'll say Raven, probably best example. Um... But if you all pick Raven, it's like, well, why do we bother having other fucking classes? And it just makes it, you know, if one class is so overused, it means it's probably, like, OP in some manner if it's overused. And then they, especially because they abuse it for other shit things. But that's not the thing. It's more fun. I'm always, I'm constantly a different class every fucking game. You know, my favorite is probably Corporal and Master Hunter. And, but, I mean, other ones are good there. Escaper, very underrated. Um, me and Griggs like that. Wizard's always fun. Like, there's so many classes, and I use them, and there's good guns in them. So, don't always pick the same fucking class. It makes gameplay more fun and interesting. Sure, you might die one game because you don't have, you know, the right class, but, you know, fuck it. There's another game after that. <clears throat> now, next one here, I got Run Around. And, you know, I've talked about this before. It's, it balances the mod out. Zombies can't shoot. You know, I don't mean... I don't say knife them. I'm not making you forced to run a knife. I'm just saying at the start, don't hardcore camp. Don't sit in a nuke townhouse, you know, with the fucking C4 you buy at the start. And even give the zombies a fucking chance to fucking kill you. No, every game I will give the zombies at least one, but probably two or three good chances to be able to kill me. And... You know, and if I survive those two or three chances, well, then I go, I reward myself, and I say, Indy, you can go camp now or do whatever the fuck you want to fucking do now. Because I played fairly, I gave them a chance. If they can't fucking kill me when I give them a chance, well, that's on them. You know? But when faggots, you know, just, like, buy a C4, throw it out there, and wait for a fucking zombie to come, and zombies have no chance, is that playing fairly? Is that fair? Is that an equal opportunity for a zombie to kill you? Is that even any fun? No, fuck that shit. Don't fucking do that. Any, continuing on. My video is very laggy right now in Movie Maker that I'm watching. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to go. Run around. Makes it fair. Okay, don't hardcore camp at the start. Just run around a little bit. They only have 100 HP, 4 bullets, 35 in an SMG, whatever. Um, okay. But then when you do camp, I say don't mass camp in a one entrance spot. And that kind of speaks for itself, ties in for other things. It's just kind of, it's not a fun thing to do. You know, people think if they cag early in mass camp that that's the way you'll survive. That's going to work. Nah, man. That doesn't, no. Only on certain maps and certain times will that work. And that's not the majority. Nine out of ten times you're going to fucking die. Maybe you get ten kills. Maybe you get twenty kills. But, I mean, you're not going to be able to rack off 50 kills with 8 people in one house, in one spot, doing that. So, unless, I mean, yeah. So, that's that. It, you know, just it makes for bad gameplay. I don't like that. So, 
Anytime I'm, I, I like, I don't even like camping in PK spots solo though. I like when there's three or four, three or four, not seven or eight, because then I means I'm usually just fucking around. I can fuck around. I don't have to cake. I can do something else. I can do what I want. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> Next, I have be aware of the situation, and what I mean by that is, um, I guess when you're camping, whether it be a PK spot or whatever any spot. Just, oh my god, I died. Um, be aware of the situation of the zombies, of how many zombies there. Don't camp when there's three zombies. It doesn't make it for fair gameplay or whatnot. And maybe you have a, you, maybe you got a thousand points early. There's still only two zombies. That's maybe when I just go sit over with the other scrubs and, you know, wait for some people to die, but I never like to go camp right away. I think I, I just feel like shit waiting that whole time. For others to die, so I mean that's that. But I don't like people who only do that, though. I don't like. I, that's what I really. I don't people. I don't like people who fucking. They fucking uh. They uh fucking motherfucking they, uh. They only stand with other. We'll say like uh. uh where's a good spot? Like uh. Bus on craft. <laughs> we'll use that example. Best example? No. But they'll only be there. And they'll stay there until they get swift in a bowie knife. You know? And then they'll run around. <laughs> they'll be like, now I'm a runner. Now that I've camped for everything I need. Or they'll get force field. Then they'll run with it. Now I'm running with force field. I'm a pro. When all you did was really camp for it. And you're a camper for that. And don't call yourself a runner just because you fucking run with the bowie knife and swift if you camp for it. I'm not saying... I mean, I'm just saying. This is, if you're not committed to running... At the start of a game, don't call yourself a runner later. That had nothing to do with what I was saying. Know the situation. Um, what was I? But like, yeah, don't fucking don't drain the server. I guess I was trying to get out of that. If you're camping in a this fucking PK spot and there's like ten zombies and you know you're probably not gonna die, I mean, just don't drain the server. You know, do I don't care what you do. Just don't fucking try hard. Make it look like the zombies can win. You know, buy them an S. You know, run around. I don't care. Just, I don't care what you do. Just don't make it so that zombies are continuously running up to your PK with no hope that they have to go hit it. And then maybe hopefully try to limb you do that. Because that makes for very shitty gameplay. And very shitty gameplay makes for very shitty server numbers. Put it that way. And it's not fun for the majority of the server. That's why I always like zombies to win. Whether I survive like 14 minutes and 59 seconds or whatever of the game, I always like the zombies to win because I, you know, usually the majority of the time more of the server are zombies. So, you know, for more the majority to be happy, you know, let the zombies think they won by running at the end of the game or something, you know? Because I mean, yeah. So that's how everyone has fun that way, I guess. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Next and final one, I guess, is just an announcement about the ZAM Steam Group. And the ZAM Steam Group, some of you may know what you mean, some of you may not. You know, we got the Undead Uprising Steam Group, there was like 13, 37 members or something. But we also have the ZAM Steam Group that, because uh, people were using the UU clan tag and whatnot, so we just said, hey, we'll make a Steam Group. Let you do go ZAM, good old ZAM clan clan tag and make a group for that but um in that group now hopefully i am gonna be using that a hell of a lot more because that basically wasn't used since we fucking started it but what i do is want all the cool players of zam all the people i love to uh, you know i want you guys to be a part of that group because that's where more announcements regard like smaller announcements maybe not like free vip announcements smaller ones like you know hey maybe a gun game is gonna start here like shit like that like and then or be like, oh, server turn up on a, you know, Wednesday night. And, you know, maybe people will see that announcement and all the cool players, they'll come and they'll be like, yeah, I'll play Zam. You know, I'm doing nothing. I'll just come play a little Zam on a Wednesday night, a little server turn up. So, uh, join that Steam group if you want it. Otherwise, I don't, I mean, I don't know how many notifications would come out of it. If you don't feel like being bothered by shit like that, then, well, that's, just, that's for true Zam lovers. And you can wear the Zam clan tag with it. Um, I've been pushing for like, you know, you get TeamSpeak and Scavenger, or Scavenger from going to TeamSpeak, maybe if you just say, I'm Clan Tag, you get something, I don't know. 
But so that's that. Now let's move on to the little Zam clan tag. That does it for part one of unwritten rules of Sam as a survivor. If survivors, you know, just follow these simple... You don't have to follow them. I know they're not going to happen every single game. They can't work out perfectly. But if you just keep them in the back of your head, it'll make the gameplay a lot more fair and hopefully a lot more fun for everybody. And we can all enjoy our server that we love so much. Thank you guys for watching and peace the fuck out. This need to be. Here we go again. Here we go. Get on Field USA. Uh oh. You know I go by the name Minnie, right? Uh huh. I gotta introduce y'all another motherfucker.